What would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? If you had all the money, all the time, all the knowledge, all the resources that you needed? What would you do with your life if you simply knew that anything was possible for you? My name is Christina Carlson, founder of Global Swedish Design and stationery brand Kiki K, and author of the book Your Dream Life Starts Here. And I love exploring these sorts of questions to inspire people to dream. Before I started Kiki K, I had a dream that I could bring Swedish design to the world to create beautiful products that bring sparks of joy into the everyday lives of millions. Now that I have achieved that dream, I want to help you dream big. I want to create a global movement to inspire 101 million dreamers to transform their lives and transform the world in return. Each episode, I'll be talking to some of the world's most inspiring people, exploring the powerful impact that dreaming has had on their lives. We'll be diving deep into the power of dreaming with real insights and ideas that you can use immediately to build a dream life of your own, whatever that means for you. Hi there and welcome back to another episode. This one is a special one for me because this is episode number 100. It's such a milestone for me, so I have decided to share my top 20 life lessons that has been vital to live my dream life. But before I do, I want to share that a few years ago, I asked myself the question that I often ask you, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? And at the time that I asked myself that question, starting a podcast came up. But I had no idea if I could do it. I was worrying about my English being a second language. I was worried about not knowing if I could do it well. I was used to being interviewed by other people, but not being the interviewer myself. And I'm a scattered person. And when I speak to someone super inspiring, I have a million ideas and I want to take notes. So I actually didn't think that I could do it in the way I really wanted to do it. So here is one thing I really want you all to get, that when you have a big dream or something you really want to do that you haven't done before, you have to decide you want to do that and then you work out how to do it. If I did all the research first and knew what I had to do and learn, I probably wouldn't have done it. It was very similar when I started my business many years ago. I decided that I wanted to start a business and how came up later. This is so important. Just write down whatever you decide you want to do and then we work out how. And as always, I ask who first? Who has done this before that I can learn from and be inspired by? I wrote a long list and the first one on the list to call was Melissa Ambrosoni. She has been on this podcast since and I have also been on hers. But that was a podcast that I was listening to. I just contacted her and asked lots of questions to get going. So to sum it up, dream first and write down what you want and then you ask who has done this before. It's a very good formula that definitely works, so try it. I also want to add, just start and think progress, not perfection. You learn so much faster by doing versus trying to get it perfect before doing. I was really anxious when I was doing my first episodes and really nervous. But now it's one of my favorite things to do. And that came just by practicing and doing it. And now I have done 100. So the message is just start. All right, let's get into my 20 life lessons. I hope by sharing them that there will be a few things that you can try or do yourself. Lesson number one, it will not come as a surprise, I guess. Dream big, even if it feels impossible. If there's one thing I know for sure, it's that it all starts with dreaming. Whatever you're working towards, whatever you want in life, it always starts with a dream. When we take time to dream, we can come up with the impossible or what may seem impossible at a time. And when I started to live my dream life many years ago, I just started by writing down what I wanted, which one was to have a business on my own. 
And I didn't know what that would look like or what it would eventually become. But if you can dream it, you can absolutely make it happen. Yes, your dream may seem out of reach at the start, or you may be met with others saying it's impossible because you have never done it before. But it's important to remember that it's just your self-doubt speaking or perhaps the opinions of others. Don't listen to them. Instead, ask yourself, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? Dare to dream big without limits and start developing a regular practice of writing down your dreams every single day and then go and make them happen. Lesson number two, you are in the driver's seat of your own life. Many of us already know this, but we are often so busy filling our schedules and living our lives on autopilot that sometimes it can take some sort of challenge or obstacle to force us to take control, to make us stop and realize that we are in the driver's seat. We can make our own decisions and change our life's direction to make our own goals and dreams happen, whatever that may mean for us. If you have always done something in the past, it doesn't mean that you have to continue that way. If you want to start something new, you can. Create a life you want by taking control of it and by doing what you truly want. This is your life, so take the wheel. And guess what? Start now. Lesson number three, life is short. Regardless of whether we get to live a long life, life will always seem too short and the quicker we realize just how little time we have, the better. Once you realize the small amount of time you have left to do everything you want to do, you'll find there is nothing better than making decisions based on that. You will quickly work out what is important to you and you will also find that you'll be able to tick more things off your dreams and goals list once you become more aware that time is ticking. Remember, life is too short not to live every moment to its fullest. So how do you want to live yours? Lesson number four, make health your number one priority. To live your dream life, your best life, it is vital to have good health. Most of us are aware of this, of course, but we also understand how easy it can be to put other people, work and other priorities before our own health. Every moment you choose to put your health first, you will quickly realize that you were able to do more of the things you want to do in your lifetime, as well as being there for others as the best version of yourself. So remember to always make yourself and your health and well-being a priority. And also remember that self-care is never selfish. This is your life. Lesson number five, do what you love. I get asked repeatedly, what is your number one tip when it comes to start your own business? And the answer is always the same. Do something you love and you are passionate about. Starting your own business or setting out to achieve any dream or goal for that matter is always fun and exciting, but it can also be challenging. So when things start to get difficult, as they always will, you need to ensure that you're doing something you love so much that no matter how hard it gets, your love for what you're doing will drive you through the challenging or hard times. And this is exactly what has happened to me in the last couple of months when I've gone through a really challenging time. I am so clear what I want to do and it's something I am so passionate about. So find your passion and follow it. Lesson number six, know your values. What you value is a reflection of who you are as a person. These are things that are uniquely important to you, so understanding them is key to living a life you love. Why? Because when you are dreaming, setting goals or making big decisions, having a clear understanding of what you truly value keeps you focused on what is important and simplifies your decisions. Knowing and understanding your values makes it so much easier to know what to say yes to and most importantly, what to say no to. Let your values guide you in all your decision and you'll be on the path to living a life you truly love, your dream life. Lesson number seven, live your purpose. Think of your purpose as the motivating force that gets you out of bed in the morning. 
the unique difference you have to offer the world. Having a clear sense of your own purpose in life is accelerating and valuable for so many reasons, particularly in informing and guiding your goals and dreams. For some people, this can be a long process of discovery, but once you're clear, it's so helpful in guiding you in all that you do. Your purpose will help you deal with the many challenges and decisions that life throws your way by giving you a sense of being part of something much bigger than yourself. You feel connected to something meaningful and worthwhile that gives you a strong sense that your life matters. You'll know that you are close to your purpose when you find what gives you the most energy and joy. Your purpose is unique to you. It's the reason you are here. Lesson number eight, start with who. When you start dreaming big about what you want to do in your life, you are very likely coming up with the things you have never done before, but there may be someone who has. So before you start what you need to do, always ask yourself, who? Who has done this before? Who can I learn from? Who can help me? Who can support me? Who could mentor me on this? And maybe the most important who question of all, who can help me? to make this dream come true and may want to do this because they have a strong interest in the outcome. There is so little that hasn't been done before and there are so many people who can help you by sharing their experience. Reach out to them or study what they have done in whatever way you can. You do not have to do this alone. And by doing this, it will make it so much faster as well to learn from someone who's done it before. Lesson number nine, don't say no, say how. This is one mantra you will hear me regularly say if you spend any time with me. The sentiment behind this is simply never to take no for an answer, but rather ask, how can we make this work? It's a great reminder to think outside the box and to never give up. Often when we are met with no in our lives, we're very likely to stop what we are doing, walk away or fail. So instead of giving up, ask yourself, how can you do it? When you start thinking this way, you will almost always find an answer. Sometimes the answer may be a very different path or a different outcome that you had planned, and that is fine. Just remember to never give up on your dreams. Just because someone says no doesn't mean it's over. Try this mantra in your business, professional life, or personal life and see if you notice a shift. For me, this has been an absolute game changer. So don't say no, say how. Lesson number 10, never stop learning. I love nothing more than learning and hold personal growth as one of my highest values. Always trying new things to grow and evolve, striving to fulfill my greatest potential and contribute as much as I possibly can with my one precious life is really important to me. There are always new things to learn and it does require an open mind and a growth mindset. But why not make it a lifelong mission of your own to never stop learning? You can do this by reading or listening to audiobooks. It's amazing that you can get someone's life lessons from a simple book and apply their learnings to your own life. You can also attend online or in-person seminars or do an online course, listen to a podcast, watch a TED talk, watch YouTube channels, seek out people you admire to have a conversation with. There are so many ways we can learn every single day. Choose to live each day with a growth mindset and the world is yours. Lesson number 11, surround yourself with inspiring people. It's no secret that who you spend time with can have a major impact on your overall well-being, happiness and motivation. Surround yourself with as many inspiring, empowering, diverse and interesting people as you possibly can and you will find that you are very likely to take on some of their habits and be inspired by their dreams and goals. Positive, inspiring relationships and connections are the ones you should nurture, encourage and hold on to tightly. Make time for these and seek them out. However, it's also just as important to take stock of the unhealthy or not so positive relationships as well, where you can avoid or reduce the time spent with these people. Remember, your time and energy are so precious, so always choose who you spend time with wisely. As Jim Rohn famously said, we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So maybe have a look. Who are the five people you are spending the most time with? 
And are they the right people? Lesson number 12, have a clear vision. Once you have decided what you want to do in life or business, whatever that is, make sure it's written down somewhere as a compelling vision. Something you, your team or family, depending on who the vision is for, obviously, are all aligned with can understand and refer to whenever needed. When you go through rough times, as we all will at one point or another, it's so helpful to have an inspiring vision to pull you through. Whether you are an individual, family or business, your vision is always there to remind you why you are doing what you're doing and to inspire you to see it through. It's also helpful during the most difficult moments to remember that tough times never last, but tough people do. And having a very clear vision certainly helps through that. Lesson number 13, spend time alone and embrace solitude. In today's world, it's easy to fill every waking hour with news, updates and staying connected via technology to people all around the world. And as exciting and as amazing that is, it's also really important to turn off our devices every now and then and spend some time alone. To reconnect with ourselves and to get to know ourselves, take time to reflect and really think about what we want to do, what we want to have and who we want to become. It may sound a little bit scary, especially for those people who are not used to be doing things to spend time alone without devices or with other people, but the benefits of setting aside some time for yourself, disconnected from everything else that is going on, will far outweigh the initial fear. Trust me on this one. Make it a regular date with yourself and look forward to these moments. It can be life-changing. Lesson number 14, have a morning ritual. Own the morning, own the day is a phrase I believe very strongly in. So it's no surprise that morning ritual is a non-negotiable part of my day. The morning is the most beautiful time of the day. So to get up and go out walking before anyone else is up and see the sunrise is simply magical. And to take some time to think, journal, read, move, and set the day up in the best possible way makes such a difference to the rest of my day. The important thing to remember is that it doesn't matter if you're a morning person or a night owl. No matter what time you wake up or what time you go to bed, beginning your morning in a positive way will set yourself up for a positive and a productive day ahead. Develop a morning ritual that suits you and your life and turn it into a conscious daily habit and one that will eventually become an automatic part of your life is amazing. Really encourage you to try that. Lesson number 15, decide what habits you want or do not want. If you really want to make positive changes in your life, look at your habits. The choices we make and the things we do on a daily basis really do have the power to impact all areas of our lives. Consider the things you do each day. Are they helpful and positive or are they hindering you and holding you back? What habits could you remove and what habits could you add to make your life even better? Research has shown that it takes up to 66 days for a habit to become an automatic part of our life. Eventually, if you make a conscious effort to do something daily, it will become second nature and you will start doing it without thinking, just like brushing your teeth. When creating new habits or removing old ones, it's important to find out what works for you and stick to it. You might be someone who likes having multiple habits to focus on, or you might like to keep it simple and choose just one. Know yourself and do what is right for you. Above all, believe in yourself and know that if you really want to make a change, you can. And as you probably know by now, if you listen to my podcast, I have a habit club. So if you want support with your habits, just go to your dreamlifestartshere.com and go to the habit, habit club. I would love to see you in there. Lesson number 16, journaling and put pen to paper. Putting pen to paper and journaling each day can have such a positive effect on your life. When we go through challenging times, committing our thoughts to paper is so incredibly powerful. It can truly help us process and find solutions. During those times in our lives when we may be at a difficult crossroad, 
need to make a big decision or perhaps ask ourselves some of those big life questions, journaling about it for a few days until it becomes clear can be so helpful. Whether you choose to put pen to paper each day or once a week, taking the all important time to pause and reflect on your life at any moment can help you make the most of your time and to understand your thoughts and emotions and developing more self-awareness. Keeping a journal is also great for capturing thoughts, ideas, and of course, dreams you have for the future. By doing your thinking on paper first, making sense of everything, it can often make it easier to start creating it in real life. Another beautiful way of using a journal is to record your experiences. Everything from a beautiful meal or a conversation with a friend to life's larger moments. By doing this, then reflecting back over it, you get to experience the moment twice. I often get the question how I manage not to get burnt out considering the startup days and I worked a lot. And I think by just doing my morning pages and keeping a journal really helped me keeping sane, but also deal with all this stress. So I highly recommend putting pen to paper. Lesson number 17, don't worry about what other people think of you. One thing I decided really early in my life was that I would stop spending time worrying about what other people think or what people thought of what I was doing. I personally don't love everyone or every little thing that others are doing, so I certainly don't expect that people will do that with me. If we worry too much about what others are thinking of us, we will spend our energy on that rather than spending time creating our own lives. And guess what? It is impossible to please everyone. Some people will be inspired by what you're doing and some people will think the opposite. So remember to focus your energy on living your life, chasing your dreams and doing the things you love regardless of what other things. And be so excited about your dream life that you don't actually have time to worry about what other people think. Lesson number 18, think outside the square. Many years ago, I read Edward the Boner's best-selling book, Six Thinking Hats, and I was so inspired by it. So I took one of the hat concepts and created my own to use it with myself and with my team. Whenever there is a group discussion or meeting in the office, we use the term yellow hat if you want to share something a little outside the box or an idea that may not have been completely thought through. The yellow hat gives us all a safe space to bring up creative and new ideas without feeling the need to have all the answers for it straight away. Sharing a yellow hat idea encourages innovation and creativity and gives everyone a voice. It's been the beginning of so many amazing new ideas over the years, so why not give it a try in your own life? And if you want to really work out what all his six thinking hat is, because I think actually the yellow hat I just took because I love yellow. Um, I think the innovation hat is actually green. I can't remember it. I read it quite a long time ago, but I highly recommend you reading the six thinking hats by um, Edward de Bono. Lesson number 19, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a stepping stone to success. That is a quote by Arianna Huffington. To make mistakes and fail is part of our life. And yet many of us let fear of failing hold us back from trying new things, chasing big dreams and achieving our goals. Next time you find yourself worried about failure, remind yourself of the wise words from Thomas Edison. And remember, the fear of failing has stopped more people from achieving their dreams than failing itself ever will. Lesson number 20, be grateful. One practice I include every single day as part of my morning ritual is gratitude. And actually one thing that we often include in our dinner conversation as well as a family. Thinking about all the things and people I'm thankful for in my life is such a beautiful practice. Embracing gratitude, not just by recognizing what you're grateful for, but by expressing it too, can have the most wonderful positive impact on all areas of your life. When you focus on the positive, you begin training your mind to think positively. And thinking positive means you'll notice more of the good around you, welcoming more happiness into your life. There are so many reasons to embrace gratitude, so let it guide you in all areas of your life. Be thankful for the moments, the people who make your life wonderful. Think back on memories with love and look to the future with optimism and excitement. 
believe in the power of gratitude and change the way you see the world forever. And on that note, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for being part of my Dream Life community. Thank you for listening to my podcast and thank you for your incredible support. I am so grateful and all the reviews that you guys have given me on the podcast, it's just so beautiful. So thank you so very much for your support. So there you go, my top 20 life lessons. I could probably have done 100, but I hope there are some in there that will inspire you to think about your own life lessons that will help you live your dream life. So until next week, dream big.